Welcome to SC21 TV. I'm your host, Charla Bokikio. We are live at the SC21 TV news desk, meeting leaders in the world of high-performance computing. With me now is John Towns from NCSA. How are you, John? Very good. How are you? Good. Good to have you here. We are here to talk about Exceed. Tell me, um, what is what is Exceed? How, what's your involvement? So um, I'm the PI and project director for Exceed, which is a uh, National Science Foundation funded uh, national cyber infrastructure project. Okay. Uh, so it's a now 11 year project, which uh, integrates uh, many of the resources, services, and capabilities funded by the National Science Foundation to make them available to researchers at universities across the, the country and, and their collaborators internationally. Okay, and how long have you um, been working in that capacity? So I've been running this project, uh, we're in our 11th year. Uh, I've been involved in a prior project called the TerraGrid for uh, most of its life of uh, 12 years, and I've been at the, the center, NCSA, um, since 1989. So I've been playing this game for quite some time. Wow, excellent. So let's talk about um, the Advanced Computing for Social Change, ACSC, right? right? How did it come about? So this has been an outgrowth of our activities in the Broadening Participation Program of the Exceed Project. Um, often efforts in this area are difficult to find funding for. Uh, it has been a part of our mission of Exceed to, to broaden participation within the community and, and reach out to underrepresented communities. Mm -hmm. uh, and as um, part of a collaboration that was developed with several other institutions, we, we began this uh, Advanced Computing for Social Change to focus on trying to bring primarily data skills to underrepresented minority communities. And so it is a it is a program that we hold not only during SC uh, annually, but we also do it during the PERC conference, Practice and Experience in Advanced Research Computing, that's held in, in July of every year, um, focused primarily on, uh, on uh, advanced computing professionals, but also developing the community in many ways. So what happens is we get the cohort of students together, they get into smaller teams, they choose a problem uh, of their own selection that's a socially relevant problem, uh, and then we provide guidance for them to collect data, to provide analysis, and, and make a, develop a presentation based on their analysis. Hmm. So they spend uh, several days during the week of the, the conference, SC and, and PERC, developing a presentation. Um, we have a set of folks that review their presentations and, and they provide them to them at the end of the program. Um, it's, it provides them both the development of these, uh, these technical skills, uh, it helps them with some of their presentation capabilities, uh, it also in, in introduces them to the rest of the community as well. So it's, it creates opportunities where they often didn't have them. Yeah, it sounds like it attacks a lot of different areas that they need That's to right. uh, yes. experience with. How is it funded? So primarily uh, it's funded right now uh, out of funds from uh, the National Science Foundation, although it was initiated as something uh, as part of the Exceed project. We wanted to do more than we could with the funds that we had in the, in the project uh, budget. Uh, so in collaboration with some of our partners, we put in a proposal to the uh, National Science Foundation and they provided funding. Um, further, uh, particularly the two conferences I referred to, and this one included, uh, have also provided support to this program as a, as a very important element of also broadening participation in our community. Right. So, um, Exceed's role in, in this is... Well, initiating it, uh, we also provide a lot of uh, coordination support for this. Okay. Uh, so, while we do have funding from the, from the NSF for that project specifically, we also use project funds from Exceed to support mm -hmm. the activity. Okay. And so, how does it support Exceed's mission? So, Exceed is a, a large and, and complex project with many objectives, but one of our uh, first strategic goals is actually to uh, to educate and, and to do workforce development for both existing and new communities. Uh, we also have a specific uh, element around broadening participation and diversity and inclusion. Mm -hmm. uh, so, this all fits within those efforts. Seems like it kind of goes hand in hand it very does. nicely. It, <laughs> it was designed to complement the things that we right. were doing in Exceed. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, so, how is the program grown? I'm assuming it's grown. It has grown. Uh, again, it started as a relatively small effort, uh, but uh, 
with the additional funding that we were able to get from the National Science Foundation and the support from the conference, we've been able to support more students each year uh, as part of the program, which has been fantastic. Yeah. How do students get involved with it? Uh, we put a call out, uh, which is one of the challenging elements of this because you're trying to reach out to underrepresented groups within the community already. Mm -hmm. uh, so through, uh, we often use Exceed and uh, other projects broadening participation programs to reach into those communities and identify uh, candidates. Um, and so that they submit an application, uh, we review those and select a number of students, uh, the number that we can support with the funds we have that year. Great. And I imagine you have some pretty good um, participation as far as numbers oh, go? It, it's been very good, and, and the students have been fantastic. It's, it, they have been, I, I've been a part of this and, and watched the presentations, uh, observed as some of the, the work has been going on, and it's been life-changing for a number of these, these individuals. So it's just, it's been just such a wonderful experience to be a part of this. Yeah. Um, it's primarily led by a woman by the name of Kelly Gaither at University of Texas Austin. She's also a co-PI on our Exceed project. Um, and this is largely her brainchild, but uh, in collaboration with others. And she puts an enormous amount of energy into this and to working with the students. And it's just a fabulous experience. Yeah, I mean, I was just gonna ask you what the impact of this program has been, but it sounds yes. like... We've got numbers of, of stories of, of students that have participated in this. They've come from challenging backgrounds, mm -hmm. um, and now they're in graduate studies at various institutions around the country and internationally. So it's it's just been, again, created opportunities for these individuals that they might not have otherwise had. Yeah, it's a great program. Um, anything else that we didn't cover as far as the, the, the ACSE and trying to remember all of these acronyms, <laughs> <laughs> exceed all of it, but in, anything that, that you uh, didn't get to? Well, I, I think the, the one thing that's important, particularly for pr programs like this, is there's some uncertainty of, as to their future often. Mm -hmm. So in the case um, for this and a few of the other exceed related projects uh, or activities, is unfortunately, uh, Exceed will come to an end next year. Uh, NSF will fund a follow-on program that they call Access, mm -hmm. uh, but the overall budget for that program is only about half of the current program, so we're very concerned as to what, what elements will be able to move forward. Um, I know that they are attempting to move some of these efforts, funding some of these efforts into other programmatic areas within the foundation. We just haven't seen how that's going to unfold as yet. So, um, you know, we, we rely on the support of, of projects like Exceed, conferences like SC, mm -hmm. and others to, to continue uh, and hopefully sustain the, this, this sort of activity for the yeah. community. So then what's the hope moving forward then as far as um, keeping these programs going? Like. Uh, again, uh, well, hopefully you what we'll see is solicitations coming from the NSF and perhaps other agencies right. that will allow us to fund the students and, and, the, and the staff time to support these efforts. Yeah. So I guess it's um, just letting people know the importance. And it's uh, doing things like this, yeah, letting absolutely. the community know that what, what we're doing. Uh, often these aren't terribly visible, but they're extremely important, particularly for broadening the participation and, and increasing diversity in our community. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we've talked a lot about uh, diversity and inclusion this week with a lot of other guests, and this is just another piece of that. It is, it is. For sure. So we're making our contribution. Uh, we all need to, to put something into this to, to make sure that we can move forward. Well, I hope that it continues in some capacity um, moving on. We certainly hope so. Yeah, and I, sure. I'm, I'm fairly confident we'll, we'll work that out over the next year. Yeah, uh, absolutely. But there's uncertainty over the next year, and we have to work through that.